My name is Julie Olson Buchanan and I've been volunteering here since 2015. So the food bank uh, has several different ways of distributing the food. One is through agencies. So this is an agency of the food bank. There's over 200 agencies. As you may know, we are one of the most food insecure regions in the nation. Um, yet we also produce the most, quite a bit of food. We have several different rooms on the campus that we use. One is what we call the big kitchen, and the big kitchen is where we have our produce delivered. So sometimes we'll get a tote of peppers, and we need to bag that. So we, because it's a cooler room, we put produce in there. We have some commercial refrigerators for other items like lettuce and so forth. Then we have another room that we call the pantry room, and that's where we take the delivery of the items we order from the food bank. Um, so we also order things like cereal and pasta and canned goods and bread when it's available and we have it delivered to the pantry room and then we move that out Saturday morning and, and create the bags in the, in the room next door. Um, the gardens were started in 2016 and um, they were created during the drought so when we really had a shortage of water and basil was a huge hit. Like the basil trough grew to be seven feet tall. Um, you could smell basil throughout our campus. Now it's expanded to include some larger vegetables uh, that uh, like, like squash and eggplant and so forth. And many of our clients are really excited to get some homegrown produce as well. For me, it's really, I think, affected me in a different way from my work with the food bank. Um, and that's by being able to interact directly with our neighbors um, and, and develop those relationships and, and sometimes hear their story. So we have people, you know, we have people in line who most of them are working um, and are not able to make ends meet because they may have a family member who's going through a, a medical challenge and, and they have mounting medical bills. Or uh, we have many veterans in line who um, aren't, don't have enough money to, to, for food and pay for their, their medical bills or um, for housing. So we've developed relationships, and friendships. Uh, every month we know, we know their names, we ask how their family's doing, and it's, it's really, for me, um, moved to more of a relationship rather than um, this kind of distant aspect from, from serving on the board. But here I have a, a face I have a face to hunger, I think, more so.